All right, so uh, right now we're going to look at a random area in Colorado I've never looked at before. Uh, the area is called uh, Aurora, Aurora, Colorado, in 111. Again, uh, it takes five hours a day for a couple of months to figure this out, but uh, we're just doing a quick search so you can uh, look at it. You put price uh, 90K and under. No, that's wrong. Put zero to maximum price 140. Then you see the prices there, the area it's um, sorted by lowest price. And uh, let me see. So we're getting an idea of the area. So we only found eight matches. Now, Depends on your price range, but for example, this is a condo townhouse. So this is one bedroom, one bathroom. This is just an apartment. That's not a house. This is an apartment. I just focus on houses because they're more expensive, and then condos, and then uh, okay. See that we see the map there, and we use the map. Okay, so we zoom out, and. Um, Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, see that that's what we wanted to happen. All those houses appeared. Okay, so we zoom out more. All those houses appear. Look at this one: house for sale, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Like um, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now, if you need to find what the house looks like, this is probably a mobile home or something. Yep, this is a mobile home, but it's 50, 57,000. Uh, I don't usually like buying mobile homes because um, they're not like you could put images. Silo, go to Silo. Sometimes you go to Google to find better pictures of the houses because, uh, see, the home has a pending offer, so the home is kind of already sold. Uh, but see, if you are in Silo right now, for example, you can see also there's a lot of houses there, so you put price, you change that to... Um, no, you put cheapest. And Silo, the, I don't, the reason why I don't like Silo is because Silo has all these pre foreclosures things that don't have a price, so then you have to go all the way down. Then, like, go to four, and there's still like pre foreclosure, you know. The other thing is there's a, a thing called Hot Homes from the government, then also you can find good deals there. See, now you're starting to see the prices. So, here it starts for sale by owner. Uh, You see this, it's 39,000, and this is on Federal Heights, so this is, uh, the zip code is 80260. I'm not sure how far away that is from the original zip code we looked for, but it shouldn't be that far. In order to look, I just go to Google Maps. And this is the thing, I mean, I'm new to this area, and so I'm not really familiar with... Uh, ...811. 21 minutes says driving. That's not bad. That's 16 miles. Okay. 16 miles. So eight hundred. So then that one, it's available. Now the thing is, when you see by owner, if that if even if the house says forty four thousand dollars, that's just the asking price. You know, you don't have to pay forty four forty five thousand. You can pay ten thousand. I know you may think they may not give it to you at 10000 but at the same time, if the house has been on the market for um, 
see I cannot log in because I'm not logged into Silla, but you can look at it. If the house has been in the market for example for six months, sometimes the owner just stop trying to show it because it takes time and money to show it. So then they may give it to you for twenty five thousand. You know, so you have to call them and be like, Hi, can I see the house? And and once they show you the house, you can offer twenty five thousand. If they don't take it, they don't take it. But it's sometimes they take it. But they're all mobile homes, mo see this is like mobile home, mobile homes. These mobile homes. Okay. Um, look, this one has some land. 160,000 land. Now, see, the thing about mobile homes is that you can just buy some land too and put a mobile home there, which will be cheaper. Especially if you're going to. But you have to look at the laws, see what the laws are saying. Um. Anyway, I'm not familiar with Silo, but I don't like Silo too much for looking like this. Alright, so we go back to Realtor.com. Now, there's... See, when you see also this thing over here dropping, that means the price has dropped on the house. So that means they started at a higher price and it dropped. So that means like you can find a good price on it because they've been trying to sell it at one, one price and they haven't. You know. Okay, so now we zoom out even more. You know, and then we start to. F oh, I don't know what happened. Okay, so. I'm plugging in the mouse because it's easier. Okay. We go up. Now that we saw out even more, we found some land. For example, 8,000 square feet. Now remember, you can also buy houses through the taxes. There's a lot of ways to buy houses. It's like buying a car. There's a lot of ways. The sheriff sales, taxes sales, estate sales. There's so many ways. We're just looking at one to get a, a, a glimpse of, of the price for the of the area. See, this is like a 19,000 one acre. The thing you have to remember is the guy who's selling it bought it cheaper. So sometimes they buy it in bigger acres, like 24,000 an acre. And like, let's look at this acre, for example, of land right here. One acre. I mean, you have to look at the laws and see what you can build there and what you cannot build. Some areas you cannot build a house, but some areas you can. So, lot size, one acre, school, see more. Also, you can find out how much the, the house sold for before. I was looking to see how, how long has the house been on the market. Because that's a key thing, seeing how long has it been on. If it's been like three months, they can, they're going to give it to you. If this house has been on the market for like four months, they'll give it to you for 10000 because nobody has bought it for four months. So, anyway, I cannot find it here. Some. Uh, I usually use the mobile application, but it, I'm doing this for video. Uh, okay, so see, we, we don't find a house, we don't find a house here. This is land, 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 land. Now there's a house here we saw before. Now we zoom out even more. You know, land, <coughs> land, 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 land. I 
I mean, again, I'm new to this market. I've never looked before for New York. I had to look five hours a day for every day for a couple of months. So once you study the market, like look at this one, for example, this one has a little shed. So what that means is that if it's legal, the guy's allowed to put a shed there. So then you can have storage there. You know, this 15,000. And you can get this one for like 7,000. So I see there's a lot of land there. Condo townhouse, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Meh. See, look at this condo townhouse, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. I don't know what that means. I mean, I don't look, I never buy condos or townhouses, I just buy houses, but so I don't know how that works. But this one is 27,000, it's three bedrooms, three bathrooms, so. Active, built, oh look, okay, here it is, Unrealtor. This has been almost a year on the website and it hasn't sold, 338 days. So that means that they'll give it to you for half the price because they already stopped trying to sell it. It's like nobody has bought it, nobody wants it. So, or maybe they won't, but you can always ask. It's not a, you know, what are they gonna say, no? So it's like, you can always ask. And you see how much there's so much land? There's like land after land. I mean, there's far away, but at the same time, when there's that much land available, uh, you can definitely get a piece of land, like an acre for $5,000. So look at this mobile house. It's 28,000. Now, now, this is the thing we forgot to see. Look at the days on Realtor. 188 one day. That's over six months or close to six months. This house, they're gonna give it to you for 15,000. You know, and if you have some land, and plus, you know what, a mobile home, well, you get a mobile home, the taxes are really cheap too. Look, built 1997, you know, you can look at the taxes, they're cheap. As opposed to a house, which is more expensive than taxes. So there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, land, land. But we see, we saw a mobile home there. I mean, the mobile homes. <clears throat> see another one, mobile home. See, 182 days. So, you know, that's like over five months on, on the website. So basically they'll give it to you for half the price. I mean, you can always ask. But I'm trying to see actual house. But this is what I was I was mentioning before. It takes five hours a day because you literally have to be here every single day to really understand the market, and like really, you know. And then the other thing is you you if you are here five hours a day for months, you'll see deals pop out. And the, when a good deal pops out, it's like, like look at this new house right here. So when a new deal pops out, it's like a house that's worth 60000 will pop out for 25000 and they want to sell it immediately. So at that point, uh, you know, they sell it in a day or in three days. Like as soon as somebody, the first person, second person to see it, put in an offer. So if they list it on Monday, by, by Friday, the house will be sold. So the good deals really sell really fast. So in Realtor, you can put a... Realtor can warn you when those deals come out once you know which market you want it in, but This 36 is a market. Okay Let me show you just because uh, let me see What else Like I said, this is not the only way to buy houses. This is just to study the market and see that there's some homes house for sale. Look at this one Well, this is a mobile home Look how long it's been on the market. Six to seven days, that's uh, that's two days, two months. Okay. I mean, let's zoom out even more. See, 
See, I, I don't think I can zoom out more. See, I'm going to put 50,000. Look at this. This is the way you do it. Now that I, I looked at the market, I look at it and there's nothing. Well, there's one that's pending. But we'll go over here and we see 48. All right. See, then I can assume out more. Then I go this way. Now, I'm not familiar with Colorado at all. So, and nothing pops out. Or something popped out. And then we put the price minimum. Don't put, put like at least 10,000. Or fifteen thousand. So these random things that cause the renting don't pop out. See, there's land. Okay, and then also put property type, put house, condo, multifamily. If you want mobile, put mobile. And we're not putting land right now, so we're not looking for land. Okay, so see, it's a lot more townhouse. See, I'm gonna go take. Got a condo and townhouse because I don't want that. I just want a house. Look at this beauty. See, this is something. Now, see, this is the thing. I can, here it comes in because the thing is like the houses that are really, really good priced need a lot of construction. And of course, you know. You're, it's like don't get into that because you, if you're not into construction, then it's never gonna work. It's just gonna be it's gonna be over hundred thousand dollars to fix the house. But at the same time, you can just go see the house, you know, and see. Sometimes the pictures make it look really bad, but then when you go see it, the electricity works, the water works. So really, the house is just. But let's look at this one. Ooh, see, this is long. This is, oh my God, this is like two hours and 23 minutes away. Yeah, this is like so far away, this doesn't work. Anyway, so you can look the other way. But as you saw, we're just looking for like five minutes, so. All right, let me show you another way to look at houses. There's a website called Hot Homes. That's government houses. And these houses, uh, the real estate agents don't want to sell to you. So you have to go to the official website, hothomes.org. I think it's Hot Homes. Because they buy them for themselves. They don't really sell them. Okay, this is the official website for HOT. HOTHOMESTORE.COM Now you look at Colorado right there. See, this, this is the real estate agents don't want to show you these houses because they're super cheap. And they're also backed by the government. So, again, like I said, there's a lot of ways to buy houses. So look, look at this ones. Swing Colorado. I mean, again, I think it's really far away from where where you um from where you are. But look at this one. This is like a really old house, as you can tell. But it's only thirty six thousand. Old bidders. There's a couple rules 
about buying a hot house because it's like an auction thing from the government but uh, anyway we're not going to go into that right now that's another video but this let's check out that far how far away it is from where we wanted to the zip code we were looking for two hours 36 minutes is far but what I wanted to show you is that the different ways to buy houses and then it jumps to that let me just look at another one and these houses are, are not listed or maybe they are listed in real estate realtor.com but some of them are not so okay so let's see See, 12 and 40 minutes. Okay, now. Let me show you the other way to look at houses. You look at the hot homes. You know. It is through taxes. Now, again, I have no idea how the taxes work in, uh, in Colorado. But they shouldn't be that complicated compared to Pennsylvania and New York. Or maybe they are. I have no idea. I've never looked into it. Uh, but... Let's do it now for the first time. Like I said, this takes five hours a day for a couple of months to figure out because, uh, you know, but we're just looking for. All right, so you go to here. Let's close the hot homes. That's government. Hot homes are government houses. Okay, let's go to Google. We're going to figure out how to buy houses through the taxes. Uh, you put. First, you've got to find the name of the county. What is the county? Um, Uh, we should put what county is a lower Colorado in? What county is is a lower What county is a lower Colorado in? So he said location of Aurora in Adams County. So Adams County, Colorado now. Let me see. See, see, because then you go to the government, Adams County government, and then you put Adams County, Colorado, and then you put um, a judicial sale houses. See what comes out. See, no, you have to make sure you are in the website of the county because there's a lot of links that will lead you to other websites. So you have to make sure. ADC Gov. Let's see what it is. See, this is something else. Core State. Now, this is the thing. Sometimes they have another website. Depends how it works. That's why it takes time to figure out how it works. So you have to go to the core county and then you have to ask them, Hi, how can I buy the judicial houses? And and that will take. Let me. I mean, let's spend five more minutes. But then, see there. Okay, now you have to read this because this is Colorado is telling you you are in the website of the government. So the. Mm, Look at the tag sale. So like it says, 
her to buy houses through her taxes. Please call the office of Arnold's come to Treasury. So you basically have to make a couple of trips over there, you know, make sure you find out how it works because you don't want to buy a house and it has a lot of liens and also it owns a mortgage. So you really have to do your homework about the house. Uh, that's why it is more complicated. And plus, a lot of these houses that you buy through the taxes in Pennsylvania, you cannot go inside the house, so you're only buying it from the outside. So this is really for people who do this for a living. Uh, yeah, this is not for people who just are trying to buy the first house. But I'm showing you because there's a lot of ways to buy houses. Uh, and as you can tell, you know, uh, well, we just checked for the earlier for Colorado and uh, that's pretty much it.